Hello, my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to yet another interesting news. Come with me as I give you the news in full details. It has been reported that the presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 presidential election, Peter Gregory Obi, who is also the former governor of Anambra State, has said as all Nigerians to stop leaders from stealing public funds. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the February 25, 2023 presidential election, Peter Gregobi, has called on citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to stop those saddled with leadership at various levels from stealing public funds. The Labour Party presidential candidate said that this would lead to a better country for the younger generation. Peter Gregory Obi, the Labour Party presidential candidate, made the call on Thursday in Benin City, Edo State, during the presentation of an award to the National Chairman of the Labour Party, Julius Abure, at the colloquium and all of award organized by Edo's Policy Roundtable in collaboration with Modiam University. The former governor of Anambra State, Peter Gregory, will be noted that the Federal Republic of Nigeria has been blessed with abundant natural resources and human capital that has been held back by poor leadership and corruption. Peter Gregory Obi, the Labour Party presidential candidate, said, We have everything in this country except good leadership. Peter Gregory Obi said, We must stop those who are stealing our public funds. We must stop them from wasting our money. It is not their money. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Gregory Obi, urged Nigerians to hold their, their leaders accountable and, and to demand transparency and accountability in the government. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, called on Nigerians to stop those start saddled with leadership at various levels of the government from stealing public funds. The Labour Party presidential candidate said that this would be this would lead to a better country for the younger generation, as he made the call on Thursday in Benin City in Edo State, during the presentation of an award to the national chairman of the Labour Party LP Julius Abure at a colloquium and uh, and all of our award organized by Edo State Policy Roundtable in collaboration with Medium University. The former governor of Anambra State noted that the Federal Republic of Nigeria as a country was blessed with abundant national resources. He said the Federal Republic of Nigeria was blessed with natural, abundant natural resources and human capital, and but it was held back by poor leadership. Peter Gregory Ongboasi Obi, who is a Nigerian politician, businessman and philanthropist, who served as governor from March, 2000, March to November 2006, February to May 2007, and July 2007 to March 2014. Peter Gregory Obi was born in Onitsha in 1961. Peter Obi graduated from the University of Nigeria in Suka in 1984. Afterwards, he entered business and banking, eventually holding several executive positions in several banks. Peter Gregory Obi contested for the governor in 2003 as a member of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, but Chris Igige was declared winner of the election. In 2006, the election of Chris Igige was nullified and Peter Gregory Obi was declared winner of the 2003 election and he assumed office in March 2006. Shortly, he was impeached in, the November, in November the same year by the Anambra State House of Assembly, led by Honorable Michael Mike Balungu. However, his impeachment was overturned as he returned to office in February 2007. Peter Obi was removed after the 2007 Anambra State gubernatorial election, but the judiciary again intervened by, the, by ruling that he should be allowed to complete a full four-year term. In 2010, he was re-elected to a second term. After leaving office in 2014, Peter Obi decamped to the People Democratic Party. In 2019, he was selected as the People Democratic Party PDP vice presidential nominee in the presidential election running alongside Al Haji Atiku Abubakar, 
but he lost to the tic- he lost the ticket to the incumbent president Muhammad Buhari and vice president Yemi Osibajo. In 2022, Peter Gregory Obi ran for president himself, first in the People's Democratic Party, PDP, until defecting to the Labour Party, LP, in May 2022 to obtain its nomination. Peter Gregory Obi presidential campaign has been described as populist and has been noted for its support among many young Nigerians who has been nicknamed the Obedient. Peter Gregory Obi was a businessman before he ventured into politics. He held leadership position in some, some private establishments. Some of the companies he served include Next International Nigeria Limited, Chairman and Director of Guardian Express Mortgage Bank Limited, Guardian Express Bank PLC, Future V Security Limited, Paymaster Nigeria Limited, Charms Nigeria Limited, Data Corps Limited, and Card Center Limited. It was the youngest chairman of Fidelity Bank PLC. On the 24th of March 2022, Peter Gregory Ubi declared his intention to run for the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria under the platform of the People's Democratic Party. But he later pulled out and announced he would be running under the Labour Party platform instead. Peter Gregory Ubi wrote to the leadership of the People's Democratic Party PDP on the 24th of May 2022 to resign his membership. Peter Obi reportedly complained of massive bribing of delegates and vote buying at party, pres- at party presidential primary, citing the exist- existence of a plastic clinic collaborating against him. Peter Greg Obi, business background and status as a major candidate not affiliated with either of the Nigerian two main parties has drawn comparison with Emmanuel Macron's successful 2017 French presidential candidacy. Peter Gregory Obi has expressed admiration for Macron and was among the officials who received Macron during his visit to Lagos State. Younger generation under 30 proved to be some of the biggest Peter Gregory Obi supporters, showing their supporters support via social media and protests and street marches. Aisha Yusuf, a prominent activist noted as the co-founder of the Bring Back Our Girls movement and, the, and a supporter of the NSAS campaign, endorsed Peter Gregory Obi in her first ever endorsement of a presidential candidate in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button and let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below and i'll see you on the next news bye for now